Where do I even start? I don't like my videos. I don't really like anything I make lately. And it's just so annoying. Basically, like last month, two months ago, um, a videographer and I, his name is RJ, wanted to make a documentary video about my life. And I was like, cool. Like I dropped out of high school. I really want to share the journey of it. Why not make a documentary? Well, we filmed the video. We It was edited. And I, I take a look at the video and I just hate it. And this is has nothing to do with like my poor friend RJ who made a beautiful video. This guy is extremely talented. It's just, I don't like myself. I like hate it the way I sounded. I thought I looked fat. I thought I sounded conceited. I was like, who the fuck makes a documentary of themselves? Like what if my audience thinks I'm conceited? I'm like literally having all these thoughts. So I'm looking at the video. I'm like, okay, we have to do something about it. So I, I'm editing this video, I'm like okay, editing everything. I'm like, I need to make myself look more skinny. So like I cut out any shots that I didn't like about myself. I like took to it to extreme where I took it to my editors to like make me less, I don't know, less atrocious sounding and give me a new script. So I read this new script and I put it on the video of this documentary thing and I just still didn't like it. I'm not joking. I've been rewatching this video, re-editing it for the past four weeks straight. <sighs> we filmed this video in August, okay? It's fucking October now. <laughs> um, the videographer, RJ, texts me. He's like, hey, where's the video? And I just felt bad. I didn't want to say it. I didn't know how to say it. I was like, I just don't like this video. And that's when I realized it wasn't that I don't like the video. It's just I'm not really proud of myself. The entire video was about my life, about me dropping out of school, starting a business. I just didn't think it was worth talking about. And when you just deeply don't like yourself to the point where you <laughs> literally don't upload a video that a fucking videographer made, but it's hard and soul for weeks, it kind of it it kind of shows you have a problem. So I wanted to make this video to share that I'm trying to get better at liking myself. I'm trying to share with you guys things I'm working on, but it's really difficult just because I don't think I'm successful. And I know it's really annoying because it's not like I'm not thankful for like all of the, you know, subscribers and I guess viewership you guys brought me. It's just, I don't feel like I deserve it. I feel like I did nothing and you guys really did the heavy lifting and supported me throughout this journey where I just really wanted to thank you guys because without the domination, fuck, where would I be? And I wanted to share the video that we did make and just know that these are the thoughts I'm thinking about. And just know how thankful I am for you for just even fucking watching this weird ass video. Because as I'm about to tell my my story in this documentary, in the back of my head, I'm just, I know it's not me. It, it's you guys and your support. And I'm proud of that. If anything, if I don't like myself, something that's helping me is being proud of you guys. Because it's too hard for Jay to like herself. I'm just going to like you watching this video and thank you because I can't give that to myself. It's actually helping me in a way. Like me giving you guys credit is letting me kind of accept the fact that I should probably upload this video. So with that being said, I'll get better. But thank you guys for your support. Thank you, us. Here's the video that I could not absolutely stand, but now we'll accept. <laughs> okay. When I was 16, there were two options placed in front of me. Depending on one which I chose, it would alter the course of my entire life. I know that sounds dramatic, but I could either drop out of school to pursue my dreams or get a degree. I ultimately decided to chase after my dreams. Even though I was the ASB club leader at my school, the head of my orchestra, I felt like something was missing. I soon realized that I desire to live a life beyond a piece of paper. It's really hard not to give a fuck about what people think about you, but I had to do what was best for me. So I walked into school and told my teachers, 
I wouldn't be coming back. And that's when I decided to move to LA. Currently, I'm the founder and CEO at X8 Media. We're a creative agency that helps brands grow using video. We also work with influencers for these projects, so I started a creator incubator program inside X8 Media where we help early stage creators grow and fund personal brands. I moved to San Luis Obispo recently and every morning I actually wake up and surf. It's surreal to say just because this Life is something I could never imagine, like working with brands, creators, making content, living in a beach city. Like, I, I can't believe it sometimes. And I remembered it was not always like this. And I want to talk about the process it took to get to this point. My decision for leaving high school really came down to wanting to showcase that I believe in myself. I knew since I was a kid I wanted to be a content creator. And being a creator means taking risks. It means doing the illogical thing. I mean, art is supposed to not make sense. And I realized if I really wanted to be successful, if I really wanted to become amazing, I had to believe in myself and no one could do that. I used to look at you know, my parents for validation or my school and my friends and I realized the only way for me to be successful at what I want to do in my career is to 100% go in and full, like I just can't have pregnant myself with making content. So I just went full in. Halfway through my junior year, I packed my bags, dropped out of school and moved to LA. So when I first moved to LA, I was what, like 16? And uh, settling in was really difficult. I think people thought it was going to be an easy process, but not only was I a dropout, but I've never lived on my own. So I think growing up was actually really hard. From small tasks like parking tickets, to paying rent, to the electricity bill, to taxes. I was like really new to all this. And I think that um, because of that, I made mistakes. One of the first ways I learned how to make money at that age was to do Instagram consulting calls. Graciously, someone in like, I think the Philippines was like, do you do consulting for Instagram growth? I'm like, sure. And they're like, how much do you charge? And I was like 10 bucks or something stupid or like super, super small. And then they said, yes. I was like, okay. So I started to charge like $10 and then 20 and then 50. Then I did like $100 per call. And I think over time I was able to build like a little bit of revenue. Three years later, I'm 19, and I do a lot of different things than I did when I was 16. Most recently, I've been working on a creator incubator program, and I work with more corporate enterprise brands, which sounds fancy on paper, but let me tell you, it's still never perfect. Like, every day I wake up, and I feel a lot of anxiety because at this rate, yes, I took care of growing up. I took care of, like, paying my own salary, but now with my team, I, I'm worried that I can't take care of the people around me. I can't keep growing at the rate I want to. I think I actually, weirdly enough, keep adding more problems. And on an emotional point of view, I still feel a little bit like I don't belong. I just came back and I had a docket meeting and now I'm in leadership. Vicky was on the shoot. This is the vlog. I'm in the vlog. This is Cole. Hi. He's in my leadership class. I think obviously I left high school, so I never belonged with my 16 year old friend group. I wasn't able to get a job because I don't have a diploma. So I didn't fit in with my friends who work. And especially with the creator economy and circle, like a lot of my friends are, have millions of subscribers and it's so hard not to compare yourself to that circle. So like everything going on till this day, I don't think I fully feel like I fit in. And I think I learned that it's okay. That's truly what success is to me. It's choosing what you want to do and saying no to things that you don't want to do. And it just so happened social media was my path. In the past three years, my biggest highlight was probably being told from my friends and family that I'm not able to do something. Like physically told that, Jade, you can't move to LA, Jade. You're not going to be able to surf. You're not a surfer. Um, you're not an entrepreneur. You're not someone that's able to 
make money. And I think the biggest highlight is just saying like, no, like I believe in myself and doing everything that everyone told me I couldn't do. And that has been my highlight. So most recently, I was always told that because you're an entrepreneur, you have to be serious. And because I have like a more funny side, I would never be successful in it. But I've proven to my clients and my, like, my content that you can be you know, fun and, and still be taken seriously. And I think because of I was able to prove that, that's definitely been a highlight because I didn't think I was gonna do it, but I put my head down and worked and like saw it all the way through and I think I achieved that. I think on social media, it can look that Jade is doing really well, she's successful, she's always independent, having her own business, but in actuality, not a lot of people know that I literally went bankrupt in 2019 and that I made a lot of mistakes. And I think it's actually important to understand that through ups and downs is when most of my real growth actually happened. Um, I learned the, the importance of staying calm during chaos and to trust the process. Like I learned to really trust myself throughout these downs. And what I realized is no matter who you look up to, everyone is going through their own impossible and their own problems. And it's so important to share that side with everyone. And I think that's why I make content. And that's why I am so motivated and everything that I felt like I screwed up on was worth it because real growth happens when you face your fear and make mistakes. Special guest, I quickly want to introduce the director, the photographer, the videographer, RJ. What's up guys? <laughs> Wait, Hi. sorry, we have one mic. Hold up. <laughs> so, RJ. I thought uh, Jade had a really interesting story to tell and I just wanted to uh, try to tell it in the best way possible. Like this video if you, you want more RJ, subscribe if you want more RJ, and go follow if you want more RJ. Thank you so much RJ for like creating this, I'm so stoked for you guys to watch it and you're probably watching it right now, so go comment and spam the comments with your love. Because RJ- If there's something you guys want us to like cover in like a really cinematic way, let us know what you want from us. Yes, more to come, more to come. Maybe. Only you guys, Maybe. only you guys can tell us. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Thank you, RJ. Bye. Bye.